Hello, and welcome back to another episode. Today, I'm back here at the desk, because between you and me, I feel quite, quite tired and quite sickly. And uh, last week, I didn't have time to record. I was very busy, even though I had a, a thing I wanted to, to, to share with you and to talk about. And this week, as I was setting up the camera and the lighting and everything, I just realized how, quite how tired I am. And I figured this, this would be good enough. My streaming microphone, the webcam, a lighting panel, and you know, we, and we can have a chat. Because I do want to talk to you about something that I rediscovered last week, and that is drumming. The joy, the joys of drumming. It's been about eight years, actually, since I properly picked these things up in anger and used them. Uh, I've got these, I've got uh, a set of brushes, uh, I've got a, a sort of a, a, a bundle of sticks as well that I use for different effects on the drums, and it's been a while. And I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, I, I've already talked in a previous video about how I used to be in various bands, especially in high school. And I started out as the drummer in those bands. I was a drummer in the, in the school orchestra. Uh, even though I never particularly enjoyed reading drum music on the stave, uh, as it were, I was much more of a feeling kind of drummer, um, the rhythm. Uh, and then that progressed into guitar, piano, bass guitar, vocals, this kind of thing, when, when I went into other bands. Uh, but, but drumming never left me. Percussion has always been in my soul. You know, when I'm thinking about something, I'll be tapping it out, or tapping, you know, my fingers out on the, on, on the nearest... Uh, hard surface and sometimes you know my lovely wife even will say uh, can you stop that it's a bit annoying you know after like 30 minutes of me just <laughs> tapping um, and so it, it never left me but last week as I say I was very busy uh, on Friday um, uh, midday ish I was meant to have a um, a sort of a mindfulness group therapy session that I've signed up for to do with stress and and um and other 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 things um and that was cancelled and i found myself just going hmm i really want to drum and thankfully ironically not long before i more or less stopped drumming i had actually got my hands on a practice kit from a company called dragon um they were selling this kit in cash converters in here in wall's end and uh, I, I, I think it was maybe 40, 50 quid at the time. It felt like a lot of money to spend on, on a, a practice drum kit. But it was crucially quieter than a real drum kit, a full drum kit, and also took up much less space. Uh, and so I went upstairs, found the snare in that set, sat down and started uh, what's called paradiddling. And this is where you play with the sticks. <clears throat> Got to be careful with that phrase. Uh, you play with your sticks um, to to move between sort of single strikes and letting the sticks bounce to the point where maybe you, you're doing a full on uh, drum roll, and then you do everything in between. You move the sticks around on the drum. You you practice over you know overlapping where the sticks go. It becomes well quite meditative actually, very very uh, relaxing. And what I found really really much to my surprise was that after eight years i wasn't uh, not only was that was i not rusty but actually i i had improved especially with my left hand i'm now much better with my left hand uh, much more uh, uh parity between the right and the left hand on the drums than there ever was when i was learning to play when i was in high school and also just after high school so maybe all these years I've been thinking about drumming. I've been sort of reflecting on the use of my left hand in, in drumming. And, and it all just came back to me. It's all coming back to me um, on Friday. And uh, so, so I recorded a little bit of, 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 of this sort of practice on Saturday morning. Uh, and uh, well, here's the rest of it.
So I don't really know why I stopped drumming. You know, it definitely wasn't my lovely wife. She was totally on board with me getting that practice kit. And, and actually, over the past couple of years, as we've been, for example, redoing the guest uh, bedroom, as it's become a sort of retro gaming area, a wall of books library area with with a, with a fold-out bed for guests, and also her office um, away, away from work during the pandemic and now um, when she works at home. Uh, in doing that room, we deliberately were making space so that she could do Pilates and yoga, that kind of thing, but also we could set up the drum kit and I could have a bit of a play. So she's been supporting that. In fact, she was the one, one of the main people really pushing for that in this house you know i i was I, I was like yeah well yeah that's that's a nice side effect i wasn't really uh, prioritizing it and uh i guess had i not had that cancelled session on friday i wouldn't have rediscovered the sticks the uh, my love of drumming and also its benefits in terms of just just being a, uh, a relaxing meditative uh lateral process where you just find yourself going through different motions and finding finding the rhythm of how you're feeling um i strongly recommend it i really do and uh, and th and those those sort of exercises that you know the paradiddle from the single strikes all the way through to a roll and uh mucking about with everything in between is great practice if you are at all interested in drumming definitely give it a go um you know you, you can just have i used to have actually a practice board that was just a rubber mat on on some mdf it was like a little rubber circle that was really good for for getting those rhythms going but there you go uh, and this 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 is what i wanted to share with you last week but as i say i was just a little bit too busy this week sadly um i feel it the fill the tooth that's been bothering me for six months uh the filling cracked on thursday last and um, I've spent the past few days in a bit of a daze. Past few days in a bit of a daze. Uh, because it's also become infected, unfortunately. Not, apparently it's not my fault. This is uh, something just within the tooth, within the gum. And uh, on oh, Monday, I had an emergency appointment. And that evening he said, look, you're going to be dizzy. You're going to be nauseous. You're going to pop me. You may even be confused at some point. And, um, and I was. I basically felt like I was drunk actually on, on Monday uh, today is Wednesday so it's been a couple of days and I'm feeling a little bit better uh, on some antibiotics it is helping but I'm still still a little bit spaced as you may or may not be able to tell I don't know anyway uh, thank you guys for watching um, I'm so pleased to have rediscovered drumming I really am um, actually funnily enough I've always had a single drumstick um, just here in the office uh this um this is actually one i nabbed from um from a gig at one point i think it might have been a gig in in real actually um it's not a very nice drum it's not as nice as, as my as my main drumsticks it actually feels kind of like it needs sanding actually american classic 5 a um so i've always had this one drum drumstick just sort of over there and every now and then i would just sort of tap the you know tap the desk but it's not the same um so it's always been around always been floating i have to put, i'll put this on the shelf behind me actually now i think sorry i really am rambling bye guys it's been fun uh hopefully you've enjoyed this to, to a certain extent somewhat and um yeah i'll see you next week with a with a, a video when i'm uh one tooth less and hopefully a little bit more clear-headed until then do take care bye bye